everyone. So I received a surprise today. Um, I got both of my art atelier boxes for October and November on the same day. So the October box took almost two months to get to me. Um, and the November box actually only took 20 days. That's because Rosie had switched the uh, shipping, um, the company that she uses for shipping to the, you know, to everywhere, I guess, to one that is going to ship a little bit faster. So I'm really happy about that. Don't have to wait so long anymore. Um, not that that was a problem. I mean, at this point, I'm used to it now, as we all should be with anything coming from, um, from China, you know, we're still in the pandemic. I mean, my God, today they just announced uh, on the news about the Omicron um, variant. Oh God, when are we gonna be able to finally get over this, you know? But it is what it is. So let's go ahead and look and see what I got for the October box. So the theme, as you can see here, is uh, New York. So we've got and I always keep these. So we have like, this is probably the stamps for the month. I love this map of Central Park. And then of course, you know, we have this little thing here of the um, Statue of Liberty. My name, my full name is on here. So that's why I covered it up. So let's see what we got. You know, it's funny. I haven't even thrown out any of these boxes because I know I'm gonna be able to repurpose them and. Fortunately, I will be able to with some of the Christmas presents that I'm going to be giving out this year. So let's go ahead and pull this out because this is really exciting. I always love the first couple of products that I pull out here, usually because it's the washi and the stamp, which I'm a big fan of um, in these boxes. So, all right. So let's go ahead and start with this. Ooh, I'm gonna definitely keep this because I can use it to collage in my uh, junk journal. So I'm gonna try to be really careful about pulling it out. Oop, there, it's already tearing. Great. Uh, and excuse my nails, I just um, repainted them. <laughs> so I haven't washed my hands, so they're kind of like, they're really messy. Um, I bought some new nail polish today. I took my nieces, they had to go and buy a Christmas present for their brother. And um, I took them to Walmart because they wanted to get, they don't watch my channel, so it's okay. They wanted to get him um, Legos, like Lego kits. So, oh, this is part of a calendar, cool. Okay, so we've got, oh, I like this find how to take it off um we've got some i don't know if it's like a newsprint maybe some kind of a word washi here Hold on. let me just very carefully because i don't want it to tear all right there we go Ugh. this would look really good for collage piece pieces so I'm excited to use this. In fact, I'm probably gonna go ahead and use it tonight. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure that this is the stamp. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm just trying to fill in this, <laughs> the space here while I'm, un um, unwrapping this. So I bought three new nail polishes um, from Walmart. I just went ahead and got the Sally's quick dry because that seems to last the longest on my nails. I do a lot of hand washing. Okay, so that was, that probably was a previous month. So we have, oh wow, 12 and 21. Maybe it was August. So this is the stamp, another really good one. Sorry if it's not in focus. And as you can see there. Okay, so first envelope are the printed washi, or washi, what am I saying? Printed ephemera cards. And these are like vintage, you know, these are old scenes of New York 
So that was the East River. This is Central Park. Bowery? Elevated road on the Bowery. Hmm. I'm not sure where that's at. The font is really small. I saw obviously the Times building. I've only been to New York actually just once. And it was like a very quick weekend trip. So I didn't really get to see a lot of it. And I really want to go back. But I like these. These are sketches. Okay. All right. So we got that one. Ooh, this one is full. Packed full of ephemera. Okay. Actually, let's move this up and like that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get in there. So we've got a lot of these pieces. You know what I've done? I've actually gone and separated um, all of my ephemera by type. So like these would be in um, just one container. Actually, like I took all the vellum pieces, separated them. Vellum and stickers are together. And then um, like anything that's like labels, like blank labels, um, I put that in another and then just everything else is all thrown together. So I would probably put these with the labels and I love these. Look at that. Telegram, just like Union Square substation. Oh my God, these are awesome. And they're stickers, that makes it even better. So yeah, like these, I, I stuck them with like the labels and these always work out really well with some of the layouts that I've been doing. Um, I will do a flip through of that collage TN um, once I've completed it. Uh, so I'm just gonna see, I'm already starting to separate them based off of the type. So yeah. And then, yep, these would still go, these would go with like the vellum pieces that I'll, I have from all the other previous collections. Yeah, I've gone ahead and just thrown all of the collections together. I figured that's probably the best way. Um, I can't really do it by just theme because I just, you know, then they'd be all over the place. Meanwhile, I have everything all just thrown together. In fact, it's right next to me. Hold on. I'll show you. So while we're going through that really quick, I know I'm like sidetracking here, but this is the container. I have all of the labels, as you can see. This one has all of the vellum pieces and stickers. Okay. And what else do I have here? Okay. And then this one is the one that has just everything else. These containers are from Dollar Tree, the, the storage totes that usually come out around um, back to school. I don't know why this year they did not bring back the clear ones because those are the best. They have like the different colored ones. I'll use that for other stuff. But for these type of things, I wanna use the clear ones. So it's easy for me to see since I'm probably gonna be using this kind of stuff a lot more often. Oh, look at that. He's standing on a freaking, beam just like her like I guess they're taking pictures that is so interesting I love these okay so we'll just more of that kind of reminds me of what was the name of that movie it's the one with um Meg Ryan and Hugh Jackman and um Leave Schreiber. God, I can't remember the name of that movie, but it was some rom-com where she was like an ad executive or some kind. Anyways, um, yeah, those scenes kind of remind me of that. So let's go ahead and put these back in. I already want to start using these tonight. Okay. 
I was actually making some artist trading cards earlier using our atelier stuff and also some um, posted stamps that I bought from Etsy. So, okay, so the next one here, let's pull all of this out. So this is the October box, but obviously it always shows the, you know, next month. Look at that, Nina Simone. Um, you got some bill, um, what do they call them again? They mean, I don't know, I just know they're called bills, but they put them up on like, you know, the walls and stuff around the city to advertise. I wonder what happened here, oh, that's weird. Anyways, we've got like a little ticket notepad um, some smaller pieces, which I will probably stick with my labels. Um, look at that one. It's probably not in focus. There we go. So we have some more sketches. A vellum piece. <laughs> this is kind of funny. It's a recipe for peanut butter cookies. Interesting. Thing is I hate peanut butter. <laughs> okay, so postcard. Here's some more tickets. All right, and then let me turn these over. So here are those little labels I was talking about. Yeah, that's what I separated because it was just earlier yesterday actually. I was you know collaging and I was having a hard time trying to find the right label to use and because they were all just all over the place. So that's when I started, I stopped and I started um, separating everything, sorting it all. I could have, wait, I could have waited for my niece <laughs> who loves to sort and um, organize. Um, I could have had her <clears throat> do it today, but I just, just didn't want to wait. When you're in that creative mode, you just don't want to stop. You want to keep going until you're done. And yeah, that's where I was at last night at two o'clock in the morning. So, okay. It's been great being off for four days straight. Um, so we've got the stamps here. So this is obviously the New Yorkers. Um, ooh, look at that. I love these scenes. And then we've got these. This one's gonna be really interesting to stamp out. So. Stick that there. And then we're getting to the last part. So we've got the larger papers. Look at that, the Tribune. So let's see here. I have yet to actually use some of the bigger sheets. Um, I think I will if I probably start I think my next um, collage book will be um, a B6. Just to see how, you know, what it's like um, to do layouts and stuff in that size. So we have the handmade papers in the back. These are also printed like on handmade paper. Um, this is interesting. Is it sticker? I think it's sticker paper. Yeah, so I can cut these up and then stick it. More handmade papers. And then of course, that one right there. Sorry, I forgot that I'm zoomed in. <laughs> Let me zoom out really quick. Okay, there we go. All right, so that is the haul from um, the October box for our atelier. That's a vintage ephemera subscription kit that you can order every month. Right now, it's, I believe it is, is it $32? And that includes shipping. I mean, you get all of this. Um, and then, you know, you get, um, with the shipping, it's you get a tracking number. Like I said, it, I'm in Memphis, so it took me 20 days to get, actually, the um, November box, which will be the next video that I'm gonna film. But um, I think you get a lot for what you're paying for. So it's a really good deal. So if you are interested in um, vintage ephemera, this is definitely 
the way to go because um, everything is curated, you know, with a, with a very specific theme. Um, you get a lot of stuff that will go with the other months, the other, the previous months, which I, you know, that's great. That's the reason why I was able to put everything together in here because then they all kind of go together, you know, I'm not limited to like, oh, you know, just one particular month. So yeah, um, try it out. You get a discount if you, um, subscribe, if you pay, you know, for more than one box. Um, I have yet to do that. Um, I probably will. I should start doing that next year. So that way I don't have to worry about, am I going to miss, um, you know, the cutoff. Um, so yeah, there you go. I hope everyone's having a great weekend or a great week, depending on when I put this up. All right. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.